All right, guys, we're going to do a quick um, overview of the delta function. Um, this is a function on the AIM software that I find myself using all the time to try and figure out what is the quickest line or quickest way um, through a part of the track. It's um, up here in the top right corner, this red triangle. Um, click on that and then decide what areas of the track you want to pull delta across. Um, this is Pocono Raceway uh, from a couple weeks ago. This area we're going to be looking at is this big curve right here. Um, the black line, obviously I got held up or had to wait or got loose or something coming onto the back straight. So we're going to pull delta from right about where the lines diverge to where they connect again, right about up here. Um, uh, let's see, I hit the, hit the delta. Click where you want to start your delta. Click where you want to stop your delta. And then over here in the bottom right, you'll see the time differences. Uh, the red is our reference, um, which is our quickest lap. And as you can see, the black line, which by looking at it, you should tell is the slowest. A little over a half a second slower, just from having to wait that little bit right here, carried the rest of the straightaway up to the shift point. Um, still a little bit slow. Um, but it's kind of putting a number to it kind of makes you realize you can gain a half a second right there just by getting a better run onto a straightaway. Um, there's a lot of discrepancies up here at the top of the peak. Um, we'll go to here. Um, GPS map, if you're not familiar with it, is right here. If not, the tab for it is right up here. Um, so just so you get a rough idea, we're looking at the, the straightaway back here. Um, so coming on to the straightaway, this is actually the NASCAR straightaway here and NASCAR turn two. Um, I can take it flat, but I didn't choose to all the time. Hence the differences in the, uh, the speed traces up here. Um, so continuing with the delta function, let's kind of see how much um, time was lost from going flat or not. If you click the delta, it kind of it gets rid of it. Uh, click it again. So we'll go from around about where the divergence is down to the bottom of the braking zone. Again, in the bottom right, the slowest one was the black line, black trace. Uh, again, seven, almost eight tenths of a second. Uh, the blue line, over a half a second, just from going flat or not through NASCAR turn two. Um, so if you remember, we lost about a half second here, another almost half second here under uh, NASCAR 2 and braking. So let's just pull delta across the whole thing, right about why, where they um, separate to the braking zone. And this is kind of a lot when you think about it, a second and a half difference between the best lap and uh, the not so good lap, seven tenths here, uh, green. And red are actually um, pretty similar, um, still a little over a tenth of a second. Uh, once you start really getting nitpicky about trying to find time, uh, the delta function is really, um, you know, really good to use to learn how to, to figure out what's going on. Um, over here on the left is my raw lap times. And that's kind of why you don't want to look at raw lap times. Uh, the green trace, even though it was one of the quicker ones, if you look, it was a second a lap slower than my uh, reference lap. So that's why you can't always look at a raw lap time and figure that it has to be your best lap. Because if you look here at the start of the lap, I must have been behind somebody or something went on right here. I didn't want to like stuff it inside of turn one behind somebody and kind of just waited. Um, so again, delta function, really useful. Um, start clicking around, see what you come up with. Um, hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any other ideas or anything you want to um, want explained or need help with, uh, just leave it in the comment below and uh, I'll try and make another video of that. Thanks.